Namibia, situated in the southern part of Africa, a country that everyone needs to etch their bucket list, a country with so many untouched, beautiful remote areas and amazing sceneries, rich in different African cultures. Come with us, the Land Cruiser LX V8 team, together with my friends as we explore Namibia's Kaukoland in the Kunene region, situated in the northern part of this country. We start off in Winduk on a five-day journey, an adventurous trip. Our first stop starts in Opuo Country Lodge, where we spend our first night, and we take on the second route of our journey to the Fanzels Pass, where we rest at the Fanzels Community Camp for one night, in preparation to take off and tackle the Fanzels Pass on the third day of our journey, and we travel all the way to Ochinunga, where we stay a couple of nights to rest. On the fourth day, we take off to Puros and we stay in another community camp and we stay for another two nights. Here we explore the most remote areas where you find the desert elephants of Africa. We stay for two nights and then we take off on the sixth day back to Vinduk through Palamver and Korejas. Join us on this exciting journey. It is the 18th of March, 2023. We woke up early in the morning, 4 a.m. as we start packing up and start off our journey. We start off and head to Ochivarongo, a journey that is gonna take us about three hours in Ochivarongo We'll stop and have breakfast and then from Ochivarongo we will be heading for to Opuo which is our destination for the day. Breakfast hopefully I don't sleep. I need this. I need the energy. Hopefully it's eating. Yo, uh, breakfast looks good. Hi, good morning. How are you? Uh, Alright man, we're done having breakfast in Ocho Barongo. So we're gonna leave now for Ocho. I think it's about 60 kilometers from here. And then we'll be heading to Kamanya. Uh, from Kamanyap we'll be going to Opubo, which is our destination for today. We're gonna be camping there at um, I forgot the camp the campsite. But yeah. Uh, hello.
about to leave now, but uh, we just encountered an issue. Um, Frame, his fridge is not functioning well, so we got a mechanic here in um, an electrician here in Ochoarongo. It's gonna quickly look at it. Yeah, hopefully, when it's sorted, yeah, we're gonna be on our way out. I don't know what the problem is. We don't know how far back we must cut it now. These bad boys. Lindsay. How are so you? Far? <laughs> oh, you got a hundred dollar bill on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of home. <laughs> Can we maybe lay a cable? Even if it goes through the car. <laughs> I don't know. It's quite easy. It's quite easy. Right now, we just, I just want to. Just put the freezer on the hood of the car. Right? <laughs> it's quite easy to get a cable. Status update. Um, fridge was not working. So, uh, chicken and the, and the gin and tonic thing. Um, maybe not the gin, but the tonic was not getting cold. So, um, yeah, now we're getting back on the road. There's no better One no huge bucket has started. Exciting. Exciting time. Exciting time. what happened now um, these little clips the one on this side so it's bent inside like that so the clip can can hold nicely in there so I think maybe when we get to camp because it's not so far from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a, a hammer so I can hit this thing slightly forward uh, for now I'm trying to find a temporal solution on uh, how I can secure this it's just for us to get to camp so we don't have to waste too much time here. Sparkling water, thank you. Uh, I don't know what it does, but I can't wait, wait to. I'm this day in the Diamond V8. Oh, really? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that you could have me. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, bro. What have you done? I'm selling these beautiful um, arm beds. What this one for? Um, yeah, it was like 20 bucks. Yeah. Before we just get out of Gravel Road, I mean from Tar Road, we need to secure it before we get to Gravel Road. Okay. The one on your side. No, but is it the, the clip at the back here? No, it's uh, the one that gets in front. Stop. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and uh, yeah, give them at the fire and grab a beer perhaps and prepare some dinner and rest. It's been a long drive and we drove about 700 kilometers from Vindukti. Yeah? So everybody is tired, everyone is um, feeling hot. There's a swimming pool here. Um, I think maybe we're gonna jump into the pool first before uh, we can go set up the fire and, and make dinner. So let's quickly go to the reception. And, uh, oh, I almost said there and get the, the, the house keys and put my room on top of the car. <laughs> Himba men, this is how Himba people, Himba men dress. We saw people like dress like this in town when we were coming when busy uh, picking for uh, fueling or cars. Yeah, and thank right you very much. Here is how the ladies dress. So, yeah, we did see that. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. So, I'm actually told that they, they, this tribe, they don't actually bath. So there's a certain fence, and I think fed from the milk or something like that, uh, which they apply on their skins. And see how beautiful that is. And the pool. It's so beautiful. Come here, I'll show you inside by the reception. But it must be on the road. Right. Uh, this is like the restaurant and the wine cellar. I like how they use the wood. It's all natural, everything that they We're gonna campsite now. Um, I'm gonna drop down my tent very shortly. But first, I need to make the fire so that the charcoal, uh, the wood, can start uh, giving that charcoal for us to start drying. So tonight, we're gonna have um, sausages, but uh, sausages, uh, and lamb chops. So these we're gonna have with um, uh, garlic bread. Because you know we've been on the road for a long. Um, a distance and also when you if you've been driving for too long you don't want to get to camp and then you start preparing food that takes so long to to get ready so though we're gonna do garlic bread and uh, green salad and, and and the meat so i'm quickly gonna make the fire now the other guys are busy putting up their tents you can see um goods he's got his tent up already and, uh, and already he's got his tent up so we're still waiting for a few guys to get here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna get my <sighs> Rambo. I'm just gonna open up the bag for, for, for the wood. I, I got this knife from a friend, and uh, every time I take it out, people are so scared of me. Yeah. One time, you see that? Ow! Rambo! <laughs> so, um, guys, how you make fire? Let me show you. You need to build... Oh, there's a lot of small wood in here. Only three big ones. But you basically just build a, a castle wood facing that way then the other ones on top facing this way and then you get your the fire lighters oops that's too much it's too much put them down there put it down there and when you're building a castle and then you oops so let's keep it that way and you keep the small ones on top like that like that 
can keep a couple like that. Hey, where's my lighter? Just like that. So this is gonna be lit up. There we go. Hello. The reason you do this, you create room for air to blow in between so that the fire keeps um, burning. You know, you know it needs oxygen. It goes through, then your, your wood is just gonna catch up and burn very fast. Yeah. I can see. Run away up here. Me up here. Yeah? Me up here. Yeah, we need those black boxes. All of them. It's best to have them down and then we'll put them up in the morning. Actually, then we can keep them in the back of the, the van. My friend Tilly gave this to me as a gift. I carry everything in here. I've got um, these. I use to make pancakes, eggs, and then paper plates, of course, for emergencies. And then I've got um, small plates here for food. I've got, um, uh, I've got the paper towel. I've got a chopping board. I have a, what do you call this again? Oluko. 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 Just <laughs> come, help me. And then I've got a, mm. and this one. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> and then, of course, cups. And uh, I'm going to make go. this. I need to, for cleaning this guy. You, you drive up the mountain, just follow the So, yeah, then I've got just the things that I actually need in an emergency. Um, if I'm with my wife, then I'll make eggs. No, 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 no. Going of poor. Using this heart. And then, uh, of course, salt, sugar. And this is my favorite also. This is a bucket. A 10 liter bucket, which you can actually also carry with you put it on your belt um you open it up comes up to here so you can fetch water you can use it when you're cooking like this and then you can fold it back easy to carry yeah and uh a lot more stuff in here that's tilly <laughs> a lot more i've got um i mean cups for the eggs that's a nice thing when you towels and now I've messed up my, my basket. Go over there. Alright guys, um, let me go help the other guys to set up my tent. The guys will also um, running. When I, as soon as I start drying, then you will join me. Thank you. Guys, you need to get yourself these guys. This is from Front Runner. Um, they were on the rooftop. It's very easy for you to carry your food or your, your cutlery. Uh, like in here, we just have... This is the... Uh, mostly stuff that we're going to be using for cleaning my lighter <laughs> and then you can see in here what do we have here we have um this for stove and then we've got rice and macaroni um some beetroot and um, yeah it's basically we just filled up with food so we've got our some of our veggies here tomato green peppers um white pepper clean wrap and um, tea stuff and of course we still have another one on the side ah. then we have yeah tea stuff again canned stuff um, coffee and stuff like the reason we're carrying canned stuff is that we gonna be on the road rather camping for five days so we're carrying fresh food and as well as canned food. So we'll be eating for now, we'll be eating the fresh fresh stuff. When it's finished, then we'll start eating the canned stuff because from this town where we are right now, for the next three, four days, there'll be no place to buy any fresh stuff. There'll be no shops. We'll literally be in the wild. So we need to fuel up our, we did already fuel up our cars. So we just need to make sure we've stocked up enough food uh, this is enough it's gonna take us through the next four days and of course um there is a red line somewhere for this uh, red meat 
so you're not supposed to cross that line carrying fresh meat so we need to finish that meat for the in the next three four days so the fifth day when we're coming out we're not carrying any meat but we can use the canned food the canned food can go over so we'll be eating the canned food on the other side of the red line yeah so get yourself this these guys um my tent is up and i've got um gasoline on top we won't need it for tonight since we're just prime and then uh my jelly cans is already full of diesel uh if i can take you the back of the car this is literally carrying all the stock you can see how much water we carry the, the water is more than anything because it's so hot in this area and where we're going is going to be very very hot so there's a lot of coke uh, uh potatoes and snacks yeah the fridge also is full of uh fresh stuff fresh food oh here's one of the guys just arrived uh, um and oh yeah okay. look at this Land cruiser lx v8 so guys um there's a couple of shops already stock, uh, stocking up on our water when you see it somewhere else please support us buy our water um subscribe on youtube support us thank you so much um yeah now it's time to get to prepare something to eat before the sun goes down so we can all sit down and uh, enjoy a beer around the fire thanks guys remember i told you we were waiting for some other guys to arrive mm. so one of the guys just arrived now uh, his name is joseph so this is a guy, one of these beasts right here. It's the first time I see a tri from off So <laughs> Hopefully I'm, I'm actually disappointed. I won't. I, I, believe in the I don't disappoint. I don't disappoint. You know, I, I, I don't, don't disappoint. disappoint. I, I actually it. saw this car mm -hmm. um, Very for money, so doing tag of war with a Land Cruiser. I mean, the Land Cruiser was. Yeah. You saw that video, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. Joseph. So, this is his brand new car. You're also the only yeah. one with leather seats, so that's Joseph. Mm -hmm. that's nice. Okay, this is, uh... you know, it takes um so much for someone to take your car through Fanzao's Pass. You know, um, a lot of people really don't want to try it with their nice, fancy cars, um, even the Land Cruiser, of course. Uh, on the roof, just put it because on the roof. for me it's if on the bucket list i need yeah. to do it i just yeah. need to take it off just for yeah. communication so this is the title yeah, i've never actually been inside this car it's my first time today oh it's got the button so you got your 4h i mean your 2h your 4h it's got 4h lc and 4 llc interesting um, sounds like some serious off-road happening in here um, so the only like this guy doesn't have a diff lock i'll find out later i'll take you through this car how, how, how do you unlock this ah, you see how fancy this guy is ah, i'm gonna wash my hands ah. <laughs> you can even take a shower here man ah. okay, come on open up ah. <laughs> It's so hot, man. Oh, I'm talking a show. That's a brand new tire. Yeah. Oh. You, you bought it yesterday, I'm quite sure. Eh? I, I love this. I love this. I need to give me this. Um, fun, fun, eh? Go for it. Yeah, got two jerry cans here. Joseph, mm -hmm. did you already fill up your diesel in you? Yeah. Is this car diesel or pet petrol? It's diesel. Okay. Nice. I, I love I love these mods at the back. It's beautiful. Right. Thank you guys. This is Rick. This is Tilly's car. You can tell by all the stuff that he has around here. I'm gonna start with the rake. I don't know what he's gonna be raking in the mountains because it's full of stones and, and Tilly, what are you gonna be raking in? Are you gonna be raking? What? Are we, we, are we gonna be looking for? No, those uh, thorn, thorn trees. There are no thorn trees. It's just more piney trees yeah, all I mean, over. Yeah, and then, I mean, of course, um, I mean, you can you can own you can do off road and not have mud tracks. These are very important. You know, this will save your life if, you, especially if you're driving alone. 
and you stack uh, there's so much use of these things you can go on youtube just check how to use these things it's not just to get you out of um the mud or sand but there's other use that these things can be used for so um most of the guys here are carrying this and of course i like i love this the new mods that he just put on recently he just got this this is a step you just step on there up here up here and you go onto your roof uh, and get whatever you're looking for and i love the antenna this is also something new that he added a couple of weeks ago he got this in south africa from mtech um i love this you can actually tilt it um if you're going through uh somewhere if this is too high so you can just pull this on and tilt it and put it back and this one here <coughs> it's a cell phone booster um if you're in a place play areas that maybe the, the signal is a bit weak this boosts uh all of us cell phones to get proper network and of course his spare wheel there is getting two and there's one here there's one on the roof he's also got his diesel no this guy is petrol it's a four liter v6 engine petrol so he's he's spending more money on this trip than all of us and then of course he's um um loading boxes there um showed you these guys and then his, his uh, rooftop tent i don't know if it's locked uh tilly loves fancy things you can just see by on his dashboard he's got all these mounting racks where he puts his uh, phones his radio my radio right now is just lying somewhere on the on the floor now because i don't have these fancy things because what is gps day and we have a rented satellite phone because for the next three four days we will be uh driving through areas with completely no network so we will not be reached at all but we have that for in case of emergency to call for help and um i think let me quickly show you the back here i forgot i hope it's open uh, let's see Oh, I don't know what I'm dropping. Oh, bread. Now look at this. Looks like an army car, eh? Of course, they also have a similar knife. I showed you guys this earlier on. It's got this um, um, first aid kit. Um, not too sure what's in there. I could see a toothbrush there. And a wine opener. A man who carries wine opener and a toothbrush. And of course his cup and his cutler this guy is selfish he's just getting one 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 of each anyway it's fine and then you can of course see his um, the drawers you put those loading boxes in there and yeah this guy is full there's a fridge inside there this is bread I'll just put it there and close this up okay and i told you this is running on a v6 petrol engine fancy i love the bull bar that he has here this is onga um yeah i love this rig i love what he's done to it um of course it's got suspension but i just don't know what suspension is running on i'll just find out with him and this is just a compressor so we're just pumping our mattresses now uh setting up camp all right guys so I like the rock sliders that he has. They look quite strong. And um, these are actually MTs. So it's mud terrains. I'm also running mud terrains on my car. Um, I'll take you through my tires. They're not really ideal for what I'm about to put my car through. Um, I'm just gambling and I'm just praying that I make it to the end without losing a tire. Because the mud terrains actually not really ideal tires for rocks um well i speak under correction because a mud tire is shaped in a balloon in some kind of a balloon way that's why if you deflate those tires to maybe 1.2 bar you can easily get away in mud in sand because you literally just float um but the risky with them is that when you are driving in a space whereby it's got sharp rocks 
because the softest part is exposed to to the ground to anything that is sharp and it can easily be cut on the side so that's the fear i have with my tires um when i doing fanzel again we tomorrow we're driving until the bottom of fanzel we're gonna camp at fanzel's camp and then on monday morning we're gonna tackle the real fanzel so yeah um that's that about the tires he's got mts as well so we'll see how we go by this different uh, make this is uh bf goodrich my terrain uh, i'm running on uh, my trip uh my terrain tires all right guys thank you so much for watching there's more coming sharp all right guys now earlier on we were making the fire look at how the chart looks like it's beautiful so we're gonna start with our it's a lot of meat and then after this of course we're gonna do the societies and then we do the sausages Beautiful. Quite flammable, actually. It was. Got myself this from one of um, camping equipment shop. It's very nice for camping. If you come across one, just give me for yourself. Let me show you something. Five. So what you do is you put this on. Put this on. I've got two buttons here. So the first button is your light. So you have the LED light, which is long like that, which is actually spread over. Like now I'm buying it so I can use this, or you get you can you can change this to come on to the one light like like that. See. And then let me show you the cool part of this thing. So it's got a sensor. If you activate the sensor, you can start using your hand motion. I can do this, switch on the light, do this, switch off, on, off. How cool is that when you're buying meat like that and I say, oh, I want to check out my meat, I just do this. Uh, and I switch off the light. That. How cool is that? I'll meet you there. Okay, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it. Oh, look at me. Forgot I've got some light here. Okay, I think I need some water. 